when we are dealing with oscillation, spring, or materials that exhibit or execute simple harmonic motion, there are some basic formulas, foundational formulas that we should not forget. And one of them is that which relates the period of a body undergoing simple pendulum. Period is represented with the capital letter T under simple harmonic motion. And then we have the frequency, which is represented with letter F. All right, this is what the basic formulas one shouldn't forget. And another one is the formula for angular velocity. Angular velocity, which is given as 2 pi times the frequency. 2 pi times the frequency. All right. So now, also do not forget that the period and the frequency they are reciprocals of themselves. All right. So if period is equals one over f, which is the frequency, the frequency is also equals one over period. Okay. So these are basic formulas one shouldn't forget when dealing with simple harmonic motion. So in this question, we have to list out our parameters first of all. We are given 40 oscillations. So number of oscillations in this particular question. Number of oscillations is 40. And we also have the time for this number of oscillation it is given to us as 15 seconds. All right. Now, pi is given to us as 3.14. Now, do not forget, it is known that the frequency of a body undergoing simple harmonic motion is defined as the number of oscillations a body make in a particular time. All right. Now, that means that the frequency, let me put it this way, frequency is number of oscillations, number of oscillations over time. This is the actual formula for calculating the frequency of a body undergoing simple harmonic motion number of oscillation over time taking why the period is also defined as the time taking for a body to carry out or execute a number of oscillations all right so two through so the frequency in this case will be given to us as 40 over 15. so if i do 40 over 15 the frequency will be equal to that is 40 divided by 15 will give me 2.67 all right 2.67 and the frequency is um written in the unit of hertz right after frank x right so it's written in x so if this is given now recall i wrote a formula for angular velocity which is 2 pi frequency so therefore angular velocity angular velocity is equals 2 pi f so that will be 2 times pi is given to us as 3.14 from the question so 3.14 times the frequency which we obtained as 2.67 all right so if i multiply this i'm going to have that the correct answer to this would be 16.75 now angular velocity unlike linear velocity is measured in radians per second as against linear velocity that is measured in meters per second angular velocity o omega is measured in radians per second so this is solution to this particular question option b is the correct answer all right